it's number six out of 150. Yeah. so pretty the OG knows that my ZX6R was wrapped psychedelic just like that Tesla I do not have gas so we are gonna be chill just cruise welcome back to the channel you guys back with another video on the Brilia I'm not gonna lie I might I may sound uh, spoiled or whatever you want to call it but I miss riding the M1000 I know I know I have other like four other bikes to ride that are all amazing but I don't know like I, I got that like little tease with M1000 because I only had it for like oh that's a nice color on a Tesla too what the hell all the Teslas with the pretty wraps Yeah, like I got a tease riding it for about a month and then the bike was down and I really miss it. Part of me wants another bike. I don't know. That's why I've been making like a bunch of videos saying that I'm like, oh, what bike should I get next? Should I do this? Should I do that? And I do not plan on getting one anytime soon, but you never know. Today we are going to stop by a shop that I've never been to. I met them at the Italian bike event and they have some special bikes they have an R1 that they're doing a giveaway and they have an MV Agusta uh, Rush I believe which is uh, like the really cool uh, rare one and theirs is like a limited edition one on top of everything so we're going to check it out uh, pretty much just an excuse to go out and ride but yeah we're just gonna go and check that out, uh, see like, you know, their shop and potentially talk about my merch. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see some merch. I've seen some comments on Instagram, on YouTube, that you guys want me to release merch. I did make a promise that at 500k, I'm gonna release something. And if I don't, I'll probably do like a major giveaway uh, of, I don't know, like whatever bike accessory stuff, like maybe a quad lock with a bunch of other stuff to like multiple people but I'm gonna be doing something for 500k stuff so that's for sure so yeah stay tuned for that and subscribe please if you haven't yet I'm trying to keep consistent with uh, super bike videos even in days like this where there isn't many people that are riding because it's 90 plus degrees outside and it's extremely, extremely hot. And I'm probably gonna get sunburned. I'm in full on squid mode, cause come on, man. I don't mind if you guys uh, are gonna like roast me for being a squid or whatever, but I can't be riding in 90 plus degree weather with anything more than a tank top. A vest usually, but I'm late as always. So, I even forgot my vest because the GoPro malfunctioned as always so I had to kind of like restart it blah 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 I thought it was an undercover cop for a sec all right my fuel trip has been it's been nine miles whoa that was a loud pop 
the ape has been acting up. Did you guys see the startup today? Like it didn't want to start on the second startup, it just like kind of like exploded. What bike shoots flames from a startup? Besides this one. I don't know if there's something wrong, but I will contact a couple people just to make sure that that is not, you know, a dangerous thing for this bike. There they are. What's up, dude? Hey, you're making too much noise. Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, this bike is obnoxious for sure. Uh, no, I got this one in March. The newest one is the M1000, which I got like a month after. That one is in the shop. SC Projects, the best. Oof, how are you doing? It's an MV, of course you're here. <laughs> they come as a package deal. When there's an MV, he's here. <laughs> Up in this thing is too pretty, honestly. This is just an art piece. Just keep it at like right. in a living room or something. Yeah. With an aero exhaust too. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it's got the race kit on it. What the? It tells your battery. You tell me I'm loud. <laughs> Bro, this is insane. The gold carbon wheels. All right, all right. If I get a naked bike, it has to be this thing. Not this specific model, but something like this. It has to be an MV. Jeez. That's through the helmet too? Oh my god. The whole thing is literally vibrating. This thing is beautiful. And it sounds like this. Oh, I like this thing a lot. Sorry R1, but this honestly... It's loud, huh? Bruh, what? I thought my bike was loud. <laughs> What the hell? Yeah, I don't know if you guys even heard, but I was telling them if I get a naked bike, it has to be an MV. Done. It has to be. Right. Something like this. Probably not as crazy and limited as this one, but something like that. You can still come, come over and ride the RS too whenever you want. All right. Got the same power. Soon, hopefully. I would love to ride this thing. This thing is too pretty. The problem is I can't ride it the way I normally ride because look at it. It's an R piece. <laughs> No, nah, I was like, yeah, sorry R1, but like, I mean, it, y you can't even look at these next to this thing. Yeah. Just the way this is done. The race map thing is just, so, you gotta ride it like a freaking yeah. race oh, yeah. bike, because it's not like... I mean, don't tempt me, man. <laughs> that sounds like a good time to me. Yeah. R1 with the Acro? Oh, my R1 used to have an Acro. I decided to sell it and get a toast. Yeah, yeah we put full headers, it's full exhaust. Oh, it's a full system? Yep. You mind if I start it? Yeah, go ahead. We gotta hear a full system Acro. R1 Yeah, in comparison to that, I'm like, what? This sounds like almost stock But Does it have a DB killer? I think it has a DB killer This guy? I don't know, we bought the Moto full exhaust It's a DB whatever Evolution DB I think this has a DB killer, right? Isn't this a DB killer? That yeah. I was gonna say it, it shouldn't sound like that. Oh. So you get the drop, guys. Yeah, I didn't know. So just that one bolt? Uh, yeah, that, and then and then uh, that should be either it'll be a thing, and you just wiggle it out. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this piece right here should come off. Well, that's how it came. Yeah, because I used to have an Acro on my R1, and I'm like, it's not supposed to have that. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to, but. Right. Right. Not really. <laughs> this thing though just came open right back to back. That thing is like too pretty, honestly. Right? I love those wheels. Yeah, the wheels are crazy. Obviously, it's it's a full exhaust from Aero, mm -hmm. and it's modeled after the final exhaust that the, the World Superbike race bikes had. Like it's pretty much the same, like same routing. That's why. It's, it's so loud. I love it. With the ECU in it, it claims 215 horsepower. 
Oh my god. It doesn't come on till 9, so it's kind of like weird, but from 9 to 14, it's it's like... The power delivery is insane. Yeah, dude, for, for, like, just wait. I, I know you're an experienced rider, and you're, like, you know, the motorcycle thing and everything, but when you get from 9 to 14, 9 to 13 on this thing... You're, you're breaking free at 600 miles, so you can't really We just can't nine. do that yet. Mm, how many miles does it have? 18. <laughs> 18? As in 18? Yeah. Oh my god. Like, like two. It was brand new. And two is just from the factory, yeah. like, after yeah. the assembly. Yeah. Assembly, Cause right in here, it's little. impossible for it to have zero. We, we it's in the breaking period. Come on, man. Well, yeah, it's breaking <laughs> nice, you know? Breaking, okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll do a quick 550 miles on it. 9K? Is that fire? 9K? Okay, max. does it not cut out there, or? It doesn't cut out, no, it's up to you. Oh, okay. So it, you're supposed to, okay. Because the BMWs, they, they don't allow you to go over. Void your warranty, so if you ever buy one, don't do it like pass yeah. until you do the first service. If you, if, you, if you go over too much and you like blow your motor up, like so if they look and like you okay. track the shit out of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miles. <laughs> Porsche does the same thing, yeah. I know. Yeah. Every, everybody. Yeah. Well, then I should ride it when it's past that breaking period. <laughs> that makes more sense. Don't tease me like that, man. <laughs> Just get a feel for it. Alright, alright, fine. You don't gotta ask me too many times. What? The, th the throttle? Uh, yeah, the throttle. Alright. Alright, I guess we're gonna get a little taste. This is my first time riding an MV too. What a start! Bro, this thing is loud. This dash is beautiful. Bro, do you guys see this? It's literally pushing my hand. This thing is so light. It's so light! They probably can't hear me. Alright, regular shifting. So one down, the rest is up, I believe. Okay, I need me one of these. Alrighty, bro, I can, I've ridden too many bikes. I can tell when a bike feels good. Oh, oh my God, this bike sounds so nice. Okay, I'm obsessed. I need to do like a full on review when it's broken in because they said it has 18 miles. You guys know how I ride. I'm not I'm not about to do none of that stuff to this beauty, this art piece. I'm so confused how the temperature went down. How's it running at 100 Fahrenheit? I am like bamboozled right now. I don't even know if that word makes sense, but I'm so confused. Usually I ride my bikes when they go over 130. That's kind of like, for me, the safe like operating temperature. But this bike is going under 100. crackles from this exhaust okay i think this is one of the best sounding exhausts even she rolled down her windows i'm pretty sure she wants to hear this i can't even imagine this thing got like pretty much red line
What? You were driving away and it was getting louder as it was getting yeah, away. Yeah, it got louder. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm obsessed with this thing. I need one for sure. For sure. <laughs> so what do you think? Bro, this Overall thing, I, like, I, I'm speechless. Bro, literally. 390 pounds. Wet. <sighs> what even is this thing? I'm it's, trying. I'm telling you, the delivery, whatever. Bro, like, I've ridden a lot, a lot of bikes. I felt like the lightweight and the way it moves literally from here to the stop sign. I was like, I can already tell. And then as soon as I started like shifting it and here, I'm like, what? Didn't go over 9,000. Uh, so it's a very race quick shifter, I can tell, because the upshifts are very smooth, but downshift, it has the little jerk, which is very similar to my M1000. When, I, when you do the like kind of race tune on it, it's the same way. It's kind of like it has that. Yeah, it wants. To, it doesn't want you to like downshift when you're in low RPMs. You know, it, you have to be like on it. But I like that. It's like, it's a race bike almost. You know, yeah, I love it. It's so nice. I don't even know where the key is. Oh, it's the key. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, this thing is amazing. All right, it's been decided because I've been on the ZH2. I've been on the Street Fighter, whatever v V4S Street Fighter. It doesn't compare. Really? It does not compare. Wow. Like I rode that thing and I was already wheeling on it and you know messing around with it. That bike was like very easy, comfortable. This is like different. But it scared me when I first got on it. I was a little intimidated. I was like, I can't yeah. I mean, I didn't get to open it up like I did with the other bikes because on the other bikes, like on both the ZH2 and the Street Fighter, I got them up to 150 from one light to another. With this one, obviously, I couldn't, like, you know, because it's brand new. But a big portion of why I'm so obsessed with it was with the sound. If you can't, guys can't tell, all my bikes are obnoxious, and this just fits right in. And when I heard the pops, I was obsessed. There's definitely nothing like it that I've heard so far. Yeah, same. Like, this is insane. And I can't believe this is the first MV I wrote. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Once it's broken in, I need to do, like, a proper review on it. <laughs> Yeah, this, this was like blue balls. It was a little tease. <laughs> I can't believe they put this in there. Yeah, we took it out. Nice. Now it's going to sound much better. It got the looks, the sound, the power. I mean, wow. checks all the boxes, right? Yeah. And for a naked to feel like that, that's crazy. Right. It was... Hold on. Why is it running so cool? The thing was running under 100. Yeah. Usually my operating temperature is 130. Like I don't even. All that, and then actually, if you go in, yes, you go in the dashboard, you can switch it into race mode, which takes all this street information out. It gives you the tack super big. It makes the speed red, and then it gives you the ability to run a, a lap you, timer with. The how do I get into that? How much is this bike again? Um, MSRP 46. MSRP, 46. So it took away the mile, it took away the odometer, it took away all that street stuff. It gives you just traction control, just front lift control, and then that's a lap timer that triggers from the... the, 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 the yeah, the emergency. The display is beautiful. Emergency lights. I ride it like that a lot of the time. It's kind of annoying because it doesn't show you the gas light. It's only on here and stuff, but... Yeah, yeah, you'll see it, but... Yeah. Has a fuel gauge. For everything, like when I was... it's This is... Uh, I don't know. It's like they did it so perfectly. Oh yeah, well, launch control is pretty insane too, and it's rad actually. I, think. I can't even imagine how that sounds. Wait, are you gonna do that? Jeez, that sounded crazy. I love this exhaust. Yeah. This is it, and then it says pull the clutch, and then after you pull the clutch, it, it knows you pulled the clutch, and then it tells you, and then it says release the clutch slowly when ready or something like that. I forgot the exact. Literally yeah, all the steps. And it, yeah, it's fun. It's like it's exhilarating. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. You can almost like teach someone who's never launched a bike how to do it. Yeah, like the H2, you just you're in launch control and you figure it out. If you die, you die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> green, like that's the only time it goes green like that is when you're in launch control. It's like it's step by step. So like like I said, if someone's like kind of calm and never done it, you can be like just follow the thing. Like, yeah, that's crazy. And even the key's pretty. Like every single detail. Uh, so yeah, when 
I saw the pictures of it. I told them, I'm like, dude, I need to get it. I'm like, and they had a buyer for this one and he had to call to tell the guy to give it to me. It's number six out of 150. Yeah. This was last That's week crazy. Itself. It's done. Yeah, that was it. That was it. That's Actually, crazy. And MV That's won't be top speed. They just said it's fast. I'll do it for them. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I almost went to the whole thing in Texas where they do the little land strip stuff with the, the exotic car. Uh-huh. The Texas Mile, he was going to do that. And he, he was certain he was going to go over 200. We had, we had different sprockets, but... Yeah, with a with the John yeah. Wayne on the runway. With the yeah, correct sprocket. I actually still have that sprocket set. It was made by a buddy of mine who runs a, a, a company that does sprockets, and he made me a whole set. I have like nine of them. I mean, if you guys want to do it for marketing, if we find the right pilot, like, then we definitely try. I volunteer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's gonna be giveaway number one right there. They're giving away this bike. You guys are wild. But it's loud, yeah. Still, like, it's pretty awesome. I mean, this is, you're getting a ticket for sure. Yeah. Right. For especially around here, for sure. Got the gold BST too. I really like them. I usually, I'm very OCD with my color scheme. It has to be all matching, but for whatever reason, they kind of go with a bike. The way I see it, it's like a Ferrari with gold wheels, you know? Like yeah. Look, you know, like a race, like a race, for, like back when the race Ferraris had gold wheels. It just. Like red Italian machine with like some silver. Yeah, it's just bougie, so it fits it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Usually my OCD would be like, nah, it should be red to match the rest, but like, I don't know why, just the gold fits it. Because the whole bike is like, I don't know, gold. I feel like it's just like so valuable and well, yeah, exactly. Uh, this one sold me. I need an MV for sure now. <laughs> Definitely needs to be added to the collection. I know, I know. I, d I said it in the video. I was like, oh, imagine redlining this thing. Oh my god. Oh, and you can set, I'm sure, like on the other bike, so you can set a hard redline or a soft, soft bounce or a hard cut. Yeah, remember at your event when I revved that V4? Yeah, you were hard. The, no, it was, uh, it stopped at like 12, I think, or 11. Hmm. That bike revs to like 16.5. Yeah, just when it's in, yeah, I yeah. Do that now. I, I didn't even know it does that because I've never revved it that much. And it, and it was hard cutting it. Like, yeah, yeah. And then you can also like like every other bike like throttle sensitivity engine speed engine sensitivity uh your engine braking amount like it's all of it it's just like super electronic package is like super on point. yeah i need to ride like a broken in one and get like a do a full review on it because yeah, yeah. i mean just from this like going to one light to the other like that felt like amazing yeah just come grab the rs when you're ready so it's a base model but same same tires same frame different suspension though but same power and then that one, you can, you can really nice. Taller, taller bars though, three inches taller. Especially your seat. Yeah, I like this because I'm used to these, so this to me was comfortable. This was comfortable yeah. yeah. All right, I'm sweating in this helmet, so I'm gonna end the video and I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> <laughs> it is so hot; it's like 90 degrees. <laughs>